My final question. Can you tell us what's in your new book and uh, what makes it different from what you have done before? Well, what's in the new book on Garvey um, is that I've tried to condense the information on Garvey to include and give some more emphasis to his Jamaican years uh, from 1927 to 35. Uh, because I find that the American years, whilst being the most dynamic, because America is what? America is the most developed country and economically the most powerful and also a very dynamic African-American population that Gavi was able to mobilize. But the British colony of Jamaica so Garvey engaging with Britain in a different way than he engaged with the American government. Because Garvey knew Jamaica the best. And of course, an engagement also, he had a vision of a unified Caribbean, including Haiti. So it wasn't like an Anglophone Caribbean that he was concerned with. He was concerned with wherever black people were. That was his uh, domain. So I want to bring that Caribbean dimension to the fore, plus his work in Africa. As you know, a road was recently opened in uh, Windhoek, Namibia, and Garvey's impact on Southern Africa is immense. considerable, yes. immense. And that was the impetus for much of the movements that later arose uh, in the 20th century and led different African countries to majority rule in one form or the other. So I want people to see a more, take Gavi in a more global way. Uh, so that's the, that's the thinking behind um, the new book I've done on Gavi. And it came out? So that book came out this year, 2018, and has been doing pretty well. And again, it's a book that the publisher is trying to get involved in the schools yeah, system, right? So uh, teachers really, can no longer complain that there's a lack, a of, a, lack of material. Your own work on Rastafari and Garvey, um, Tony Martin's different books, especially Race First, the archival material in Robert Hill, Marcus Garvey and the UNI papers, which runs into some 12 volumes now. New Tony Martin. Yeah, Tony Martin's library, the majority press library. So nobody can say. People need to mine these materials to create uh, new material. The last year a play was done on Garvey, a musical, uh, an excellent musical. It's the best okay. that I have seen. It. So I saw okay. it twice. Okay. Okay. And I worked with the uh, director, director and writer mm -hmm. okay. of that musical. Um, and it's excellent. It should tour. Because, again, he uses his creativity to write a musical. Uh, and it's not a traditional birth-to-death story. Mm -hmm. It's an interaction with a young person today who don't know about Gavin, who don't care, and who don't want to know nothing. So you get this interaction between the older generation and this young man who into him music, into him dance hall, and no one not to do with this Garvey thing. And over a process of time, Garvey appears as a ghost and he will look upon the 21st century and seeing what is happening to us. And of course he's upset because we should have been much further along the way. So what the artist explores is where we should have been and how Garvey's message is relevant, especially to those who don't know nothing about him and those who ignore him or those who feel he's irrelevant. So he's battling with that question and using his art. It's very good. Oh, that sounds um, like a theatrical production that, theatrical. Sh that, 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 that should have it's, been at Liberty Hall or that yeah, Garvey would be proud of. It's, it's, it, this requires a big stage. 
When I say them, I mean like uh, the old time Liberty yeah, Hall yeah, in Gavi, course, because Gavi provided a platform yeah. for all these Liberty kinds Hall of. And Park, and at Park, 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 yes. yes. So, so, again, it's the creative people yes. who have to carry yes. the burden. The cultural component of, of moving it's, forward it's the not struggle. It's the routine mm -hmm. who is going to repeat mm -hmm. what we already know. It is how you take the idea and build on it. You build on it in terms of creativity in business, creativity in music. It's because the essence of Gabi to me is creativity. Yes. You know, you are creating something which people may have thought of but don't think was possible. But you go the further step to say, yes. We have the self-confidence exactly, to do it. To do it. So, that for me, the, the cutting edge is really on creativity. And creativity is not only music, literature, so it's anything. Could be science, could be what you do in media, uh, how you set up this arrangement Spirituality, here. media, exactly. agriculture, everything. everything. Africans have yeah. excelled at yeah. all levels mm -hmm. of all of these things. Mm -hmm. Professor, it's been wonderful talking to you for the few minutes. Yeah. We hope we can do it again at some time. Mm -hmm. But thank you for sharing. We, well, we, we, we learned a lot. And Roots Foundation for your interest in the Gabi legacy, which is now for decades because you're now a man who has joined the ranks of the senior people of the gray hairs you're looking at these gray hairs i got here too yes hey. so you have you have a lot of experience a lot of knowledge and wisdom so it goes both ways uh and i regard you as an exceptional colleague in the struggle for Pan-Africanism. Pan ah, that's yeah. a high compliment. I yeah. thank you very much, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm.